call me old fashioned on 790 CFCW. It's 131. Good afternoon. I'm Stella Stevens, and I have a whole bunch of people in the studio, some of my Facebook friends that I've invited to come in and meet the boys from High Valley. How's everybody doing? Super yeah. We have Brad, Curtis, and Brian, the Remples. Why go with High Valley and not your last name? I mean, it worked for the Osmonds, it worked for the Jacksons. Man, now you're going to make us, like, second-guess ourselves. We're actually changing our name tomorrow. <laughs> no, the new That's name is Brian at all. High Valley. Brian you know what? and High Valley. Oh, yeah. When I was a, a young boy, I just came up with High Valley, and the first show we ever played, when we, when we finished singing, the guy's like, so do you boys have a name? And we all like, awkwardly looked at each other and weren't sure if we had a band name or not, you know. And then somebody, our guitar player's mom in the crowd yelled out, High Valley! And it stuck. And it stuck. So yeah, how long have stuck. you three been a band for? Fifteen years. I was uh, 12. I was 12 years old when we started. And I was six, but I wasn't <laughs> actually in the band then yet. It was Brad and Brian, and I, I joined about seven years ago, I guess. So, introduce yourselves, tell us how old you are, and if you're married, and how many kids you have. Wow! Our manager uh, told us to never talk about yeah. ages on the radio. So we're going to avoid that question. Well, I'm, this is Brad, and I'm 27. I have a son named Drew, he's three and a half. He gets a dirt bike when he turns six, he tells me that every day. And Cash is seven months old. My name is Brian. This is my radio voice, because when I sing, I sing hi. So I try to, you know, <laughs> Sound like a man sometimes. Just balance it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. I'm actually 25, I think. Yeah, it just happened. Um, so I have had my voice change. I have a one-year-old little girl. Big little girl. Are you married? 100%. <laughs> That's great. You're the single one, though. Thanks, yeah. Uh, my name's Curtis. I'm uh, 21, and I'm turning 22 later on this month. So that'll be a blast. <laughs> And I have no wives or children. <laughs> <laughs> now, are there more of you at home? Do you have any more siblings? Yes, we have three sisters. Uh, they are all older than each of us. And uh, mom and my dad. <laughs> and and they, they don't have a band together? They do, uh, actually. Yeah, they kind of do. Mom and, mom and Cindy and Amanda um, sing a lot together. And um, they just don't go out on the road because our sisters have... Um, large families and you would need like four buses just to take us all out together so instead we just get in a big white van and do it ourselves. So tell us about growing up in La Crete, Alberta. What was that like Brad? It was, um, we didn't know any different so at the time we didn't compare you know it to anything else but we're eight hours north of Edmonton here, um, eight hours to the airport, we're five hours from a Walmart, we're uh, three and a half hours from the nearest McDonald's. Still are. Yeah, and uh, so it's crazy isolated. You drive over a frozen Peace River in the winter uh, to get out of town on the ice bridge. And um, in the summer, you take a ferry. It's just real isolated, but uh, we grew up without TV and um, just made a lot of uh, our own entertainment, you know, trying to be creative and, and hung out a lot. Obviously, we lived in the middle of nowhere, so there wasn't really many options for things to do. Either play hockey, farm, or uh, start a band and uh, hit the road. And now you're living in Nashville, Brad? Yes. And the other two, where do you guys live? Still up north, where the weather's nice in the summertime. <laughs> and you're still farming? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am farming. Uh, I uh, got some land from my dad and uh, use all his antique machinery <laughs> and farm as best I can with that, which is always a lot of fun. You guys have a new CD out in stores tomorrow. It's called Love is a Long Road. Why did you guys call it that? Well, Love is a Long Road is a title of the record. It's also a title of uh, the first song on the record. Obviously, you know, we've said how La Crete is a long road from anywhere else, and our band has had a long road of getting to where we're at after 15 years. And one thing that's remained uh, the same for High Valley is we've always sung about families and farming and faith, and that's always kind of been what we've been known for. And um, so there's a lot of songs about love on the record between uh, husband and wives, between families, and between loving your neighbors, like even Call Me Old Fashioned talks about, right? So that's where Love is a Long Road came from, and it's a pretty wild and crazy fast up-tempo rockin' tune, and uh, we're just so excited for people to, to hear this album. We'll be in the mall tomorrow at Lamley's, you know, meeting hopefully 
hundreds of people and uh, shaking hands and kissing babies and selling our brand new CD. So it sounds like you've taken just a slightly different direction with this album as compared to the last one? It's, um, it's, uh, I'd like to say it's the same direction, but it's, it's upping the ante just a little bit. Our producer says there's a little more grease on this one. Uh, it showcases who High Valley really is, in the essence of High Valley, a little, little better, and the harmonies are definitely at the forefront, um, even more so than what they've been in the past. We have High Valley Live in studio on 790 CFCW. Coming up next, a special shout-out to the communities of Stetler and Forestburg. Hang on.